Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add animated border to the elements of your blogger website. Now, in my previous video, I had shown you how to create animated border using HTML and CSS. So if you want to learn how this is created from scratch, you can go ahead and watch that video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Now in this video, we'll just create a simple button and we will add this animated border to the button and then we will add it to our blogger website. So let's get started. Alright, here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. So let's go ahead and create a new post. So I'll just click on new post and I'll just add a title over here. Now the first thing you have to do is go to the HTML view. So let's click on this button and let's click on HTML view because we're going to add HTML and CSS code over here in the post. Alright, here's the source code. So here we have the HTML and here we have the CSS. So we're going to add this to our post and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this HTML into our post. So let's copy this and let's go back to our post and let's paste it over here. And let's also post the CSS. So here I'll just create a style tag and I'll just close it over here. And here in the style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to style.css file. And I'll just copy everything from here and let's paste it over here. Right now, let's change this into a button. So I'll just change the div to button and I'll just close it over here. Right now, this is a button. Let's also change the text. So I'll just type download now. And you can also go ahead and change this class to whatever you want. So I'll just change this to btn. And even here in the CSS, I'll just change this to btn. Now we need to make some more changes in our CSS. But first of all, let's click on publish. And let's click on confirm. And let's see how it looks. So let's click on view post. Now here we can see we have this animated border displayed over here. Now let's make some changes to the CSS. And let's make it look like a button. So I'll just right click over here and go to inspect and first of all I'll just disable this animation and uh, now let's go ahead and make some changes to the CSS. Alright the first thing we will do is we'll change the height and the width of this animated border. So let's click on that and let's change the height and the width over here. So I'll just decrease the height over here and I think 60 pixels looks alright or let's just increase it to 70 pixels. Alright this is our button. Now let's go ahead and go to the button and uh, let's change the font size and uh, let's set it to 24 pixels and that looks all right we'll also remove the border from the button so let's type border none and now here we can see we have this button now let's go ahead and change the height and the width of this button so for the width i think 96 percent looks all right and uh, let's change the height to 86 percent now the last thing we will do is uh, we will change the height of this after element so let's click on this so here we can see we have this height and if we enable the animation we can see that when it animates it doesn't cover the whole width. So let's change the height and the width to a higher value. So I'll just change this to 500 pixels and also the height to 500 pixels. And now let's enable the animation. And now we can see that everything looks alright. Right now let's add this CSS to our post. So let's go back. And here we need to change the width and the height. So let's go back to the inspector and uh, for the animated border, we had set a width of 300 pixels and a height of 70 pixels. So let's change that over here. And for the button, let's click on the button. And we have set the width to 96% and the height to 86%. So let's do that. And we had also set the font size to 24 pixels. And let's go to the after element. And for the after, we had set a height and a width of 500 pixels. So let's do that over here. All right, now let's click on update. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And we also need to remove the border. So let's go back and let's remove the border from the button. So I'll just type border none. And let's update it. And let's go back and let's refresh this page. And here we can see we have this button with an animated border. So that's how you add animated borders to the elements in your blogger website. Now, if you don't understand any of this, you can go ahead and watch my previous video. I had explained all the code in that video. 
and I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check that out and just copy and paste the code. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.